Hi guys, how are you doing? It's Friday, the 10 o'clock class has just finished, so I just wanted to do a quick video. Someone's left a water bottle. Um, okay, so that session, the two sessions this week were done really well. Um, I had quite a lot of folks saying to me that they found today and last night really more tired than normal. And it's probably got a lot to do with the first session of the week where you obviously push yourself harder than normal by going into that sort of failure point or doing the drop set and pushing to failure. So we just wanted to sort of re-emphasise that and use it, use what we did this week as a learning experience. I know, we're, I, know, I know we're near the end of the block, but at the same time, loads of you will be coming back in January and stuff. So like that whole concept of pushing yourself close to failure is like absolutely essential in order to make continual progress. So that's one of the things that I know I keep repeating in emails, but maybe having to, trying to actually experience it firsthand in the session that we did um, today, yesterday and this week makes you realize that. So for example, when, so when I say like you're aiming for eight reps, or the sets are eight. Like I've said it before, I'll say it again. Like the goal isn't to do eight reps. That's your that's a that's a ballpark figure, and it's the idea is it's to indicate that, that you're aiming to find a weight that is challenging for eight reps, so that by the eighth rep, it's a struggle, particularly towards the last part of the set. So, the, like for example, the third and the fourth set. Um, so, for example, you might manage eight reps first time. You might manage eight reps second time, but by set three and set four, you might get only seven and seven something like that. Um, and that was a good wee experiment, I think, for today and this week to, to make people realise that they weren't maybe lifting as heavy as they should have been. Uh, so, for example, I, I counted at least nine or ten people who on their fourth set, or their fourth, what was meant to be a, the heavy set of eight reps, or the target of eight reps, uh, when I stood over them and said, you need to push yourself, or someone stood over them and said, you need to push yourself, you need to keep going until you physically can't do another rep, they ended up doing 20 reps, um, which is far too many. And what that means is, it doesn't. It means that they, they weren't lifting heavy enough in the, in the first place to elicit strength gains. So every single session you come to, the whole point is you have to push yourself to that limit every session if you want to really seriously get stronger, which is what we saw a lot more of this week because we're like, saying you need to push yourself. So one of the reasons for it is to get people thinking a bit more about it instead of just coming in and aiming for the arbitrary, what's well, four sets of eight? Because ultimately, if you don't even know how many reps you're meant to be aiming for, like you should be focusing on pushing close to the failure point anyway, regardless. So um, just bear that in mind. Like there's a slight difference when it, I've said it before when it comes to chin ups and bench press when you're going for maximum strength. So when you're targeting four or five reps, you're wanting to make sure you, get, you take a measured approach so that you get the four or five reps for the first few sets. But the same principle applies. Like the reason it's only four or five reps is because the weight's meant to be heavy enough to only allow you to do four or five reps. So if we're saying four or five reps and you just decide to stop at five because that's what we've said, like, but you could have done seven or eight or nine, then the weight's too light. You're not going to get out of it what you are trying to or probably presumably hoping to. So use it as a learning experience today, I think, for everyone. like, It's incredible how strong some people are getting. And it's also incredible to see people realising how much stronger they thought they were when they actually go and try something. So. Like I said, use it as a experience. You should be pushing that failure point every single session on most exercises on the last couple of sets. If you're not, then you're going to struggle to achieve like con a gradual, continuous strength gains month after month. The whole point is you do it continuously, and that's why there's. It's almost like there can be lifelong strength goals. There's no reason why it stops at a certain point. The reason it stops at a certain point is if you stay within a comfort zone. The important thing is to not go the other way and just become reckless with your training and just put on loads of weight on the bar and then see what you can do. As I've said before, it has to be measured. That's why you need to, that's why you need to monitor what you're lifting so that you're going through, literally going through a periodized progressive strength program, um, which ultimately involves effort beyond your comfort zone towards the end. So everyone, so I think a lot of folk did that this week really well and that's why a lot of folk are feeling more tired today. Um, the glutes were killing them because they were like going for more volume and everything they did, the squats. Obviously we took it to extremes with some of the exercises. Like we did 20 reps squats, 20 reps deadlift. But more, I'm, I'm thinking more about the chest press and these kind of things where people went way beyond like rep ranges with the, with the weight that, that they probably achieved, thought they were going to, which means you need to say, well, okay, I just did 16 reps here in my last set of eight. I've obviously not been working hard enough. And that's, that is one of the things you can take from this and learn from it. Um, okay, so just bear that in mind going forward now and for future sessions, that that is the key. 
Okay, cheers. Sorry, one more thing. I paused it because I thought there was one more thing I forgot to mention. Was you should be looking at ways to progress every exercise. So obviously it becomes more difficult with bodyweight exercises. So for example, in the tricep dips, as your corresponding strength is going up on bench press, for example, your corresponding strength will go up in the press-ups and the dips. It still doesn't mean you'll be perhaps necessarily at the point of being able to do press-ups and dips, but you should be looking to progress them too. So for example, the next obvious progression for people doing dips with their feet in the ground is to do the lowering phase only, i.e. the eccentric phase with their feet off the ground. So you don't need to avoid doing the lowering phase just because you can't press back up yet. You can do the lowering phase with your feet off the ground and then put your feet on the ground to assist you on the upward phase. So that would be an example of a progression on the body weight exercises like dips. Um, the same way you do in press-ups, you take your knees off the ground and you just focus on the loading phase, even if you can't do the press-up back up. In the meantime, you're focusing on developing the strength on the upward phase or the concentric part of the action and other exercises, particularly your bench press, because it's a similar movement pattern, it involves similar muscles, and it's that concentric effort you're getting, so you can you can adapt it and you can like there's a there's a sort of connection between the two exercises so while you're building the eccentric strength on the press up even though you can't yet do the press up fully you could be building the concentric strength for it on other exercises um okay so anyway hopefully you can see now there's a bigger picture there's no reason why you can't get extremely strong but you have to be you personally have to take control of it and just you can't just come in to do a half-ass warm-up not even check what weight's in the bar, and then just do a few reps until you feel a wee bit tired and a wee bit sweaty. That's not how it works. That's a class. This isn't a class. It's a program. There's a difference. Okay, so anyway, you're doing great, and la this week was a really good example of the progress people are making, as well as a chance for everyone to sort of learn from it, I think, as well, because I think a lot of folk aren't used to going to that place of discomfort that you need to get to, that, that close to failure point that you need to get to in order to elicit an adaption in the muscle and that's what you experienced this week okay so it's about getting used to that feeling and then repeating it week after week after week after month after month after month